babies what's up my darling mvps how are you all doing welcome back to sale with me just let me where you get the gist as he did do waiting as he did hurt of course you know there's no sleeping on the bicycle on this channel if snooze you do what you lose are you yet to subscribe to this channel or are you still sitting on a fat long thing kindly post right there subscribe and make sure you turn on the notification bell if not tell me how do you want to get the gist baby from the cooking pot like how do you want to get the gist hey i see they hot guys hey wahala well, this particular gist per red event so the guy they para eh the guy they really para but before we tend to talk about Perret, let's talk a bit about the baby titan housemate because a lot of the for that aspect but meanwhile watch to the very end i see Perret coming out in full force for Perret to have come out something don't really happen anyways from blue ever when they ask who I am, don't be shy. Tell them who this superstar is. Last, last, everybody will feel it. So, um, Blue Ever shared her Young Keto Sexy album, okay? So, when it's out, don't forget to go check it out. Go to her Instagram. She posted, I think, a sneak peek or something like that. These are the, uh, what was it called? She listed the names, Abang and Abam and all of that. So, your girl is ready for you all. All right, Renizia, she's a patriot and also... A diamond she said hi bo blue ever's young keto sexy track leads blue ever is taking the ama piano word soon watch out for my baby blue i am proud of her. i can't stop playing the little bits all right let's be entering the gist as to the hall there is no time to waste so Melly posted this and said i believe you shouldn't get sidetracked from the goal the moment you start getting distracted from it, you start seeing everyone as competitors. It's never too late to go back to the drawing board and keep on working towards the craft. And when the time is right, you will flourish. He posted this at the peak of um, the brohaha between Kosi and Mutati Wendy Madiba, you know. Now, still talking about Meli, it is said Meli unfollowed Tabang <laughs> and Mutati Wendy Madiba. Of course, we all know um, after the show, Meli, Marvin, uh, Miracle OP, and um, which person again they are close to? Kosi. Okay, let me just keep Miracle OP aside. At least he's not in South Africa. Marvin and Meli are always with Kosi. You understand? Now, Meli has unfollowed Motati, Wendy, Madiba, and Tabank, and it has been. Uh, brewing on the social space yesterday people were saying ha huh, meli is actually doing this doing that my question is some people are saying oh is meli doing this all because of kosi why is he trying to buy enemy because of a particular person um stacy said for tabang and tati to return the favor bullies tabang bullied who hey bodyguard salary will increase or he will get a bonus for that halala congrats farah lasse hili bro this one has, I don't understand the language, but I think it's South Africa. But the person is trying to say that Melis, um, Kosi will be giving her more, that they are doing, that they are playing the slave role to Kosi, you know. Vela said as if he is important as I go and unfollow him. You guys really think Okosi oh, got genuine love from those opportunities to Meli and Marvin, especially Meli. Meli is a gangster, a hustler that knows what to be done in order to survive. This one will be a year British life. So guys, tell me. <laughs> Anyways, for Meli, um, the personality he portrayed when he left the house, he portrayed this Barakomi personality. When I say Barakomi, it means a free life personality. Like he's not letting all this celebrity life get to him. You see where others are dressing on high fashion. He will just dress be, uh, less concerned. He's always less concerned about this thingy you know please stop making the unfollow about Kosi they might have had their issues please don't make this about Kosi it might be something else I wonder why he put such stunts when he has said he doesn't like the attention and love being behind the scene but stay feeding into this internet agenda so guys what do you think about this Meli Motati Wendy Madiba and Tabak thingy and Kosi do you think Meli is doing this all because Kosi is not in good terms with those two or do you think Meli is just doing it because of maybe he has his personal ish you know, with them, or you think he's doing it because of he's a boy boy, just like people said, they have been like three narrative on this. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Meanwhile, the rays are actually hyping him as um Kosi Forever said, I would fail to appreciate Meli. I have fallen in love. I thought he would leave Kosi after Marvin left, but this real G has proven to be a true friend. Kosi friends will always be here for you, Meli. Kosi Twala reached the band, active lifestyle, new merge, and then Mel replied and said, appreciate you. Now, the thing on the social space is Meli is buying someone else enemy. That is the 
thingy on the social space. What do you think? While the rains have been coming for Justin, because Justin actually like a particular tweet. Okay, let me read it from Amelia. Justin cannot drink Kosi's NSC and be shading her. He should return the NSC. I told you guys, somebody... <laughs> Don't buy me. Somebody from the race called Kosi Dry Jesus. I'm like, what? Now, what did um, Justin did? They said he went to like a tweet that somebody said Kosi is an enabler. But don't worry, we'll read that tweet and you will tell me what you think. He likes shady tweet about Kay saying she fell fans war. But if we are being honest, she does sometimes. Everything that happened the other day was just mercy and Kay did ask some fuel to eat by replying to some shady tweets her fans made about other housemates indirectly. At the same time, Justin somewhat made the situation worse too. Now my question is, do you think Kosi actually as in make her fans to go for people? That is the question. Because the Kosi I know has been this person who is always telling the fan, stay away, don't do this, don't do that. So I don't know. No one that knows Kosi will say that that she you type up there. He should return our Hennessy. That Kosi that Kosi bought without stabling it in the Kosi Rest Kingdom boardroom for approval. He should bring it back. So they are saying operation um Justin bring back Kosi's Hennessy. <laughs> Oh my god, before I try to read the NM Black tweets and you tell me what you think, Kosi posted this thing on her gram Instagram. She said, Someone once said to me, Kosi Rain's love and loyalty gives them goosebumps. I said, Girl, imagine me, imagine how I feel. You guys make me the happiest from the small to big gestures and the unexpected and random memories we are created. We have created. I love you and I will always will. I choose not to fight certain battles simply because I have got nothing to prove. I have been blessed with the best people who can see through my silly jokes and loud laughs, who understand I am simply human and couldn't be perfect. I am the happiest when I'm around you. Proof is in the pudding now. Hey, yeah. A million thanks to my Facebook series because wow, your energy and love is so pure. It felt like I was at a family Thanksgiving. I want to do it again. My goodness. You know, the tea. We got too comfortable. So this is what Kosi posted on her Instagram. But no jokes. Kosi backed herself a very nice fan base, you know. But meanwhile, uh, people saying she, she is, um, she's an enabler. She fall things up and all of that. What do you think? Uh-huh. Here comes Shindara. She said, female winner, BBT Branch, is our true and an NM blusher. We are not ready for this conversation. And Toons, she's a cosy rain and she's a delight. So she replied and said, how convenient. Forget about the words that have come for her and attack her when she responds one time. My girl is a winner between proving that over and over again. She is not a public nuisance like the product of the other branch. Now, let's see this here. Do you think Kosi for all this fan world? Because me, I do not think so. How do you people think you keep on? That's how that why will you keep on coming for somebody? The person go to ignore. The person will keep on ignoring. Then the person will now react and say something about, oh, my fan base, you people should just ignore it. It is not worth it. It is forgiveness, last, last. And you people will say she's fooling it. Hello? Hello? How is that being for? And I would like you guys to lecture me in the comment section, please. Because you know they turn and go say, ah, you are a, a cosy red. That's why you're saying this. I have seen so many cosy red. They say you don't like cosy. That's why. Now my question is, where are they stand at least, Seth? Where are they stand? Tell me about this. I want to understand. Is it that? Is it the same cosy that I used to see her tweet? Or does she have another tweet you guys see? Cosy is one person whom ignore Nelisa. If cosy is somebody who likes attention, she would have brought a whole lot of attention from what Nelisa did to her. But what did she do? She kept calm. Her fans were even telling her, why are you calm about this? Why are you this? She is my kind of person. That is what I always say on this channel. Your faith is doing fine. So why would she bother herself for something who, something who is less to what she is? You get my point. So tell me, do you really think she is an enabler to you? You Feel free to explain to me what you think about all of this, okay? Freedom of speech is allowed. I just said mine. Feel free to say yours. Now, guys, may seem as though the buzz boss today is going to be a long one. As Perry Ebby said, it is going to be a long day because I am definitely going to drag some of you by your damn rusty edges. Hey, the general has combo. And then this person said, indeed, Lord, shall I use your arts when you get started, though? I will be here no matter what. And truly, truly, he is ready, guys. He did not just stop here. He, he now tweeted another one and he said, Naked blonde truths. Some of you fans need to quit running around with narratives regarding your faves. You do more harm than good, especially with the display of ignorance. 
and some of you faves need to become less gullible and more self-aware, it is becoming nauseating to sit and watch the display of foolishness day by day by some of you fans from different faves and how you manipulatively conjure things from thin air. Allow them be, and to my colleagues, grow bold and stand for what you believe in. Allow less of the social media nonsense to control you. <laughs> um, uh, the general has come, he came with Bazooka. Like, who, who do you think Perez is referring to? Because a lot of fan base fell, and, fell to this. But there is one thing you guys do not know that some of your faith bite to what you say. You know, some of them do not have mind of their own. The same number one reason I told you all I love Kosi. The Kosi will try to control this girl during BBT. She not agree. They, because they love her, they would have to accept her decision. I wish all the ex-housemates would follow the stance, Pere. Let's know, Pere. We not agree. Now you go tell, nobody go tell us what we go do. Who is annoying our general this morning? Only the general. So people are asking. Something really caused the reason why Pere is doing this. Because Pere would not just come out of the blue and start ranting about what is happening in the in the in the um, biggest kids' house, you know. And to some of you shippers, you do what you do out of love and care and maybe admiration. But realize this: there is a limit. Admire, sh admire sheep what you want and who you want but resist resist the urge to become delusional or display of complete distastefulness of ignorance and he also replied who said use your art and he said the individual or individuals aren't worthy to get this art from me she passed up and i don't hear him the moment me i told you guys you people are delulu you do not you're not sure of a thing and you carry on for it you people say you don't like this sheep you don't like that sheep and that is the only thing people <laughs> That is what you can say to me. If any time I say something to them, you don't like this person, you don't like that person. Wait till they suffer now. See, Pere de Yanu na the legit. When he said about the shippers, and then people started asking him, Persi shippers, are they not the Lulu or are they? Wahala, make everybody hold. Tell them, you know, I love it that it is coming from Pere. I love it it is coming from a household because even me, just me, come to this place and tell you people, stop being delusional. Don't guess of what is not happening you people say leave them for us we self we want that blah 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 anyways coming from babs you you self go type something different here and behave otherwise let us rest jerry so there's this set of people that is telling Pereira that even this thing you're preaching you are not practicing it you don't practice what you preach do you think so and this exactly babs said exactly even though you are one of them so in everything Pereira said he said Pereira is even amongst them guys tell me what you think about all of this brouhaha happening from the baby titan to the baby niger streets let's talk let's operate in the comment section kindly be civil or you choose not to all is yours okay it is your typing say what you feel bye for now guys and make sure you're having a great day Bye bye